So we've talked about club and the reasons why there's a lack of diversity within that area. But now let's talk about our collegiate programs. I'm specifically going to be speaking from Division One programs. Those are the programs I've played against that I've played in. So I'm giving you my insight in that. Now, every collegiate program has camps. Most collegiate programs have camps where they allow girls to come and play for a couple days, sometimes they're overnight, sometimes they're during the day. And college coaches are able to walk around and see the girls and uh, collegiate athletes like myself or anyone else that would be on the teams are able to go and coach the girls, right? They get that um, experience of being on a college team more or less. So let's talk about the pricing, right? These prices are anywhere from, I'll just say generously, $200 upwards of $1,500, sometimes $2,000, right? If you looked at the last video of the median household income, think about the households that would be able to afford expending anywhere from $200 to $1,500 at any given time. Think about that. So then we have to ask ourselves, why are these camps so expensive? Now, being as someone who was a student athlete and a part of it, I do understand that you have to pay about 15 to 16 girls, just the athletes alone, along with other coaches that come out of town to help coach, along with the regular coaching staff. Then you have the facilities, the janitors, the people that take care of things that we're not even seeing. So I understand that, right? But then let's talk about what can we do to afford opportunities to those, to those that can't afford it. Do we have scholarships available for, the, for camps? Are we hosting free camps periodically, regularly, right? Are we covering the cost of um, fees for dorms and meals and things like that? Are we going out into our communities and asking for the lower income families to come in, right? Come on in, it's okay, we know we're a big university, we know we usually charge, we're gonna have something just for you guys for free, not even just for you guys. We're just gonna allow you to come in. You explain to us your situation and we wanna help. We financially can help. Are our universities doing that? Have we seen our universities do that? When you think about basketball, you see the active effort that is made in lower income communities to make sure that black athletes get involved, right? You see smaller uh, clinics, you see little tournaments, you see um, in football, Pop Warner teams, right? That are relatively affordable. And if not, there are multiple scholarships available for these athletes to get involved, right? Why is it not the same for volleyball? Why don't we see multiple little tournaments and teams and opportunities in lower income neighborhoods for black athletes to get involved? It's clearly possible. We see it with basketball. These athletes go on to big top five, top 10 universities, the NBA, all of this stuff, but we refuse to do it within our own sport, within our communities as well. Why is that? It's almost unfortunate that we have to ask colleges and coaches to make a conscious effort, right? A conscious effort to have more than one, more than two, more than three black athletes on their teams. There are teams today that have no black athletes on them at all, at all, in very affluent and diverse areas. Why is that? Why is that okay? Why is that not a light bulb in someone's head? Why is no one looking at that? Why is no one saying, man, there's not only no one of color, there's no one black on this team. Do you mean to tell me that there aren't any available or capable black athletes that could have done something or to contribute to the team? Because I really, really highly doubt that. And it's not to demean or to punish or to demonize anybody, but it's to really think, is it that hard to find a black athlete that can do what their white teammate can do? I personally find that hard to believe. What about you? So to my division one, all the way down to JC level universities, I challenge you to look at your rosters, your current rosters and your future rosters. Look at the, your recruiting class for 2022, 23, and let's see how many black student athletes you have coming in right? Or let's see what the total of black athletes will be once they do come in. Let's really take a look at that and see where you can make improvement. Ask yourself, have I made a conscious effort to look at my rosters to make sure there is inclusion, to make sure that I'm representing the sport that is supposed to represent more than one dominant ethnicity? What is the active effort that I'm making to make sure that I'm letting little black girls know that they're welcome in this sport? and that they are needed in this sport. It starts with you. So let's see it. Let's see those rosters.